Hello fellow squeakers. Today we're going to learn how to use the Lab Pro and how to connect it to the computer. One of the most popular data acquisition devices Veneer offers is the Lab Pro. The Lab Pro comes with four analog ports for connecting sensors such as the temperature, pressure, and humidity sensors. Lab Pro also includes two digital ports located on the other side. These two digital ports can be used for sensors such as the motion detector or radiation detector. We'll learn how to connect these sensors later. First, we must discuss how to connect the LabPro to your computer. The first step to connecting your LabPro to the computer is to connect the power supply. First, locate the power cable that came with your LabPro. Then, turn the LabPro so that the four analog ports are facing you. Notice at the very end that there's a small opening. That's the connector for the power cable. Take the small end of the power cable and connect it to that connector. Then take the large end with the plug and connect it to the wall outlet, or in my case, the table outlet. You should then hear a nice chime. If you did not hear a chime, it could mean that you have a bad plug, a bad receptacle, or a bad lab pro. The next step is to decide whether to connect the Lab Pro to your computer's serial port or USB port. The Lab Pro has a sliding door on the same side as the digital ports that allows the user to pick which port is available. Right now we have the serial port available. And you can tell us the serial port by the special symbol that represents the serial port right on top. If I slide that door closed, the USB port opens up and you can tell us the USB port by the special symbol above that that represents the USB port. To connect the Lab Pro using the serial port, you'll need to have that serial cable that came with your Lab Pro, like the one shown here. The cable has two ends. The first end is the part that plugs into the Lab Pro. The other end connects to the computer. You'll notice the D-shape of the connector and the 9-pin layout. That's because serial cables often have 9 conductors inside them. Once you have found your cable, connect the small end to the Lab Pro. You can connect it to the port we showed you earlier. Connect the other end to the serial port on the back of your computer. When finished, your connection should look a lot like this one. The other option, of course, is to use the USB cable instead of the serial cable. The small rounded end of the USB cable is the part that's going to go into the Lab Pro. The wider flat end is what's going to go into the computer. First, take the small rounded end and connect it into the Lab Pro. Then, take the flat end of the USB cable and connect it to your computer's USB port. So, which should you choose? Should you go with the serial or the USB connection? In truth, it really doesn't matter. If you go with serial, even though old, it works really well with the Lab Pro. And if you use a serial port, you can save your USB ports for other devices. The only drawback is, most new computers don't come with a serial port. If you go with the USB, you'll have a faster connection and you'll have an easier time connecting it to the computer. But the drawback is, most hardware that's connected through USB requires a driver to be installed for its use. Now I'm going to show you how to connect the sensor so that you can start taking measurements with the Lab Pro. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to connect a temperature sensor to your Lab Pro. 
As you can see, the temperature sensor is made out of two parts. The first part is the actual sensor part. It's stainless steel and contains a thermistor inside to register the temperature. The other part is a connector. And since the temperature probe is an analog probe, the connector will connect to one of the analog ports showed earlier in the video. To connect the temperature probe to the lab pro, locate the side of the lab pro that contains the four analog channels. Then, take the connector part of your temperature sensor and plug it into one of the channels. I'm going to choose channel 1. At this point, you may wish to connect additional sensors to the lab pro, and you can do so in a very similar manner. In the next video, we're going to show you how to open Squeak, get a lab pro object, and start taking measurements.